So I'm going to conjure up a ghost right in front of your very eyes, okay? But don't worry, it's not going to be a headless horseman. It's going to be a little bit more simple, a little bit more friendly than that. So all you need for this, and you can try this at home if you want, are just four circles of paper. It's such a simple illusion, but it's very compelling. And all I have to do is just simply cut out a quarter of the circle. Because if you then align up these circles, you will see something that isn't really there. What does anyone see? Hands up. Yes. Shout out. Yes. That's right. There's a square. But of course, there isn't a square. There is there. Because when I take this away, it disappears. And back it comes again. Now, this is a very simple illusion. But it's also a very powerful one, because I think it explains one of the most important points about the brain. If I went into the back of your brain with a wire, I could actually measure activity of neurons which are firing as if there really was a square there. So this is remarkable. The brain is creating its own experience, isn't it? In fact, we can even show that you can think this is a real solid object. And they've done this recently in an experiment where they put people inside a brain scanner and they showed them this, this square. It's called the Kinitsa illusion. And however, here we have the square here. And then they made the square move. You see, it's traveling across. Here it is again. Watch as it moves across the screen. There it goes again undulating like a real object. Isn't that very bizarre? Okay, have you all got it? It's moving across the screen. Let's see if we can make it go a bit faster. There it goes, moving across the screen. And what's remarkable is that the movement areas of the brain are being activated movement areas which are going in the same direction as the illusory ghostly square.